That should do us, I think. That should do us. Oh. Good afternoon, everybody. Happy Sunday. Hope you're all okay. Hope everyone's doing all right today. I'll just wait for everything to refresh and make sure everything's working. I've forgotten everything today. I've done loads of stuff, but also forgotten loads of stuff. So I'll just wait and see if my advert's coming on first. We've already got 47 people in. Good afternoon to all you 47. From Loving Tenerife. Um, Ian the Dorman's in. Hey, Ian. How are you, mate? Let me just skip this ad. See what we're up to. It's uh, first before any further. Can we have a sound and picture check? I'd really appreciate that first of all because I'm, I'm actually back in Hoppies. And there's a long story about that. All night, Mike. How are you doing? Yes, my guy. Hope you're well. Thank you very much. Andy G. Good afternoon, Ricky Shelley. How's it going? It's going all right, actually, Andy. I, I'm on my own today. You've just got me today. Um, you've got uh, Shelley's back in the UK. Uh, all good. Thank you so much. Can you hear the football? Or is the football drowned out? Because I can't. Uh, the Liverpool singing at the moment. Uh, hi Ray, how are you? Hope you're doing okay. And uh, let's see how it goes. Hi Jackie, and Ann Elton's on as well. How are you doing? Vinny, good afternoon. Charlie's there, hi there. You know it is. Can I see? No, I can't see without the glasses. The glasses stay on. Sound and pick good. Thank you, Tricia. Thank you so, so much. I'll just say, wait for a couple more people. Yes, sound and picture, fine. I can hear you'll never walk alone. Yeah, the, tr the issue is with the TV. We're at, we're at football. Uh, it's a football place today. I'm going to try and see if I can drown something out. I'll see if I can. I doubt it today. It is SLCKS people, it is what it is. There's football on and there's not a lot we can do about it. I knew there would be. Why am I in hobbies? Why am I in hobbies? It's not because I can't survive on my own up in the Finca without uh, Shelley. Uh, the reason why I'm in hobbies is very simple, is the internet up there at the house for YouTube is garbage. It's absolutely garbage. What it is, everything will download, TV will download, no problem at all. I can get all the shows I want, I can watch all the YouTube shows I want. The trouble is, is upload speed. Upload is not happening. I created the uh, the next house renovation vlog yesterday because I've got it all on the computer. So I created that vlog and then I uploaded it. Last night, I dropped it onto YouTube and uploaded it. And normally it would take 20 minutes. The this morning I woke up at uh, eight o'clock, went to the computer and 13% was uploaded. And I was just on the floor. I couldn't work out what to do. I thought I had this issue last time, had it the next time. I know somebody's emailed me to ask to give us officer help. I'm looking into that as well. And um, I thought, do you know what it is? If I just come down to Hoppies, I can actually, because I use their Wi Fi a lot, I'll just upload onto their Wi Fi, which I've just uploaded the video for tonight. And tonight's video is going to go out at 7 o'clock, and it's three days till the move tonight. So um, we're on the. Friday before we moved in so um, I've just done that uploaded it that'll be going at seven o'clock this evening so uh, just to let you know by the way that's uh, that you'll never walk alone that you can hear it's 31 years today since Hillsborough 31 years yeah thinking about a booster Siobhan um, the thing is we're working off a satellite so I'm also actually thinking about Starlink I think to myself um, I just want to just get over it and bypass it all I think I think that's most probably the best way to do it so anyway before we talk about last night, which looks an absolutely fantastic night, and I'll tell you some behind the scenes stuff about it, uh, let's have a look at the series on. Magic's on, hi Magic. Uh, all the moderators, good afternoon guys, hope you're doing well. Jackie Yeoman's on, hi. Trisha Slater, hi. Pam, thank you very much for the sound. Uh, Craig's on. SRM Sandra, good afternoon. Hope you're having a great holiday, uh, you guys. Karen Reffin's on. Uh, Nikki's on. Do what Tim does, voice, isolation mode, press button on the mic, turn it on blue, I think, unless you've got different mics to him. I've got different mics to him, Craig. I have different mics. I don't mind a little bit of background noise, uh, to be honest with you. It's just if the football was overtaking the noise, then it just makes it a little bit uh, a little bit more. Starlink could be the future. It could be. Starlink is the um, Elon Musk version. I hear people in the middle of the ocean, like these travellers that sail the world, they can get online at the drop of a hat in the middle of the ocean, and if that's the case, then it might be for me. Eddie Maguire's on. Hi, uh, Ed, <laughs> Hi, Rick. Hello, Sunday Mob. Eddie, tell us, tell us, tell us. How was it? How was it? What did you... How was it? Was it good? Did you enjoy it? Did you have a good one? Let us know. I'm trying to sort my hat out, and I think I've gone the wrong way. It needs to go that way, doesn't it? I don't feel right. That's better. A bit straighter. Tell us, Eddie. Was it good? Uh, last night was the Tenerife Nights last night at the Circus Tavern in uh, that there, London. And... Uh, Shelley said she had a blast. Shelley said it was a fantastic night for her. Uh, Craig said it seems quite nice compared to Thursday. Yeah, different. It's a Sunday afternoon. Um, they've got Sunday lunches everywhere else. Hoppies doesn't do food, so Hoppies is always a little bit quieter. That's the other reason why I chose this place as well. I didn't want to interrupt other people while they're watching football or having Sunday lunch. So that's the reason why. Um, 
It was amazing, Rick. So good to say, Was it good? Was it good? Was there enough people in there for an atmosphere? That's the only thing I was worried about because uh, he was pushing ahead with it. I genuinely, genuinely didn't think it'd go ahead uh, just because of the lack of ticket sales. I think, um, personally, uh, I think looking back, I think he went too big too soon. But he was a man of his word and he's pushed all the way through with it and he's just like yeah this is going ahead this is going ahead and he did it and he, he pulled it off and he went ahead and the guy said they had a great night so it was uh, really good Eddie says it was a great night all the acts were amazing everyone up dancing even me and you've all seen my moves get in Eddie uh, DJ's on I mean, hope you're doing okay nice to see you again uh, Rick Elaine did live from Tenerife Nights on Tenerife Friends yes she did I saw it last night I came, went home I was working last night myself I got home last night around about 1am and uh, I, uh, I watched a bit of it uh, but what I will tell you, what I will tell you, which is actually most probably going to be even better than what you've just seen, Shelley's vlogged it, and she's vlogged all behind the scenes, and it gets a bit messy behind the scenes. The fact that she walked, they all walked into the changing room with a bottle of their favourite drink in there, so gin, whiskies, uh, all that sort of stuff was there for them. Champagne was there for them as well, full on buffet. Um, you've got the Soul Brothers, one of the Soul Brothers doing the snake apparently across the floor. Mike Levy Jr. doing his diva thing. It was very, she said it was very, very funny. She said she had a fantastic night in there, so it was really, really good. Uh, looks a great night on Laney's friend. Yeah, Laney, by the way, if you're watching this and you watch it on Catch Up, thank you so much for that. It's a really nice thing that you could have done because it's like it takes a lot out of your own night when you're uh, trying to set up for other people and trying to create it. I, I know from personal experience when I do lives for Shelly. So uh, well done for that. Thank you so, so much. There's a few empty tables at the back, but it didn't affect the atmosphere. Brilliant. That's brilliant. Uh, Shelley said there was a little bit of a sound issue. Sometimes it might not have been a little too loud. And some of the lighting was straining some of the people's eyes or faces. But once everyone was up and dancing, it just worked. Just went for it and just absolutely worked uh, for you know, a treat. So uh, congratulations, guys. Tenerife Nights. Well done. Uh, for everybody else, they said they really enjoyed it. Mike Lee Jr. said it was brilliant. He was watching Shelley and he went, she was stunning. It was just fantastic. Which is really... Yeah, really compliment. Wait, do you know what it is? There's so much talent that goes in that that went in that room. That um, it's uh, it's it's nice. It's, it's great to see when that happens, and then you're all part of it, and it brings a bit of Tenerife to you guys. It's really really good. Elaine Buckingham, Rick, you've lost weight. Elaine, send me your PayPal. I'll I'll I'll, uh, I'll send you some money for that compliment. Thank you so much. Um, is that water? Yeah, it's uh, lime and soda. I'm working tonight. I'm uh, I'm back on in Gigi's at half eight this evening, so it's work for me and driving in and out of town and that's another thing with it wow i was going to tell you about as well but driving in and out of town is um it's uh you just there's no zero tolerance so we don't uh, we don't drink plus in the afternoon do you know the thing is when you come over to ten, when you first come over to tenerife you go oh, i'll have a quick cheeky beer in the afternoon and it just before you know it, it can take over so it's just like back onto lime soda i, I drink lime and soda a lot so uh that's that's what i do uh let's have a look sarah looks a great now yeah sarah's there uh Oh yeah, you, Nikki, your son did it. What what time? Uh, did he? Has he finished, Nikki? What time did he do? It? Oh, he did three minutes, three hours forty. That's a great time, not under four hours. Magic. Look at you, smooth talker. Um, Reese Johnson, hi, Rick. Great to see you in Hoppies for a change on a Sunday. Love Thursday at Hoppies. I mean, your rapping was on point. Thank you so much, Reese. Thank you so so much. Um, you need to go and check out. Talking about singing, go and check out Darren John. Darren John's only going to done Sweet Caroline. On his uh, on his channel, which was uh, interesting to see, just something different, and uh, it's quite nice actually. It brings back a few few nice memories. Don't don't skip straight to the singing. Actually, listen to what he's got to say before it goes in, and it make, it makes it all a bit more worthwhile to be honest with you. So go and check that out on DJ's channel. Uh, met some lovely Tenerife friends from the group as well. Nice one, Sarah. Nice one. That's that's great. Uh, let's have. Does he take after his uh, after his mother then, Nikki? That's class. Um, I just wanted to come on for a Sunday because I wanted to keep the continuality, continuality uh, going for a Sunday because a lot of people in the chat speak to each other as well. And uh, for me, it was just it's an important part. Talking about getting into town, I now live out of town, about 20 minutes out of town. I've got, I'm, to, due to the way it was planned today, I've had to come into town or was nearly going to come to town three times today. Uh, you're very welcome, mate. Uh, three times today coming to town. And it's a bit crazy and it's like living out, out there, if you're on your own, I can see it become a little bit of a difficult, might have been a bit of a difficult thing, uh, difficulty. But this is, I know this is only a one-off, but it's strange. I got up this morning and I've done a Just Rick today. And the plan was, I thought, I'd go into Los Chris or Las Americas and go and film down there. But when I was on, I, I, got, I did a Just Rick today because Alan Fraser's asked, when is, when is it happening? So I thought, that's what I thought I'd do. Uh, and when I was driving down that rough driveway that we've got, I looked to the right and I could see the cloud from Lagomera covering all the way over to Los Chris and uh, Las, Las Americas. 
and uh, everyone on Facebook was commenting on how foggy it was, and it was literally only because we were above the cloud line and they were below it. So in instead of that, I thought, I'll tell you what I'm going to do, rather than do that, I'm going to go to, I'm going to turn left instead, I'm going to go to actually where I live, I'm going to go to Gia de Azora, and I went into there, and I've got to tell you, the Just Rick channel, you'll see it, it's beautiful, it's absolutely stunning. That video almost will be going out tomorrow, to maybe tomorrow evening or Tuesday. Uh, the reason being is very simple, I've filmed it, I need to edit it, but then I've got the upload issue with it, and I'm most probably going to have to come down here to upload it, because it's just... Uh, up at the house it's impossible at the moment to do that so uh, just keep your eye out for that but uh, it's, it's an absolutely stunning place so that was the first time I was going to go into town but I decided not to instead I just went five minutes away from the house dog had a great walk the second time I came into town was for this because I knew today that if I went live today up at the house remember the blurry pictures from last week it just the upload speed won't be able to take it so I thought I come down here I'll use uh, I'll use the Wi-Fi from Hobbies they kind of lend me theirs and um, it works, it absolutely, you know, it, it just works, that's the second time. But this is the other reason as well is that, I believe it or not, we, Rolo, obviously a big lad, we need a big bag of dog food. Now the big bag of dog food, they're about 25, 30 quid and we're gonna to go to Hippodino to get it. Now, I didn't wanna leave the dog. I didn't, so this morning when I came, to, if I went to town this morning, I couldn't go to the supermarket this morning because I'd have the dog with me. So this afternoon I have to go into town on my own to go and get the dog food. So straight after this, I'm gonna go and buy a big load of dog food from Hippodino because that's the only place that's open on a Sunday and then take it back to the house. And then tonight I've got to go back into town again because I'm working at half eight. So at one point I'm going, what is going on here? But the, se the second thing is like, no, we chose this, we chose this. And we are, you know, I'm quite happy with that. I'm not, uh, I'm not, not got an issue with it. Uh, the odd time it'll actually put me out, but the majority of the time it should be fine. I've just got to plan that a little bit better. That's all it is. So that was the uh, three reasons I'm going into town today. So let's have a look and see what's going on. Uh, you get a bus pass surely at your age. <laughs> Thanks, my chick. Three days on a good horse to get into town on a bus. Uh, it was fantastic. We didn't know he could sing like that. Yeah, Jackie, you looked at Darren Johns, have you? It's good, isn't it? It's good. I see, I said to him, I told him myself, and he, I don't think he'll mind me saying this. If I pick a golf club up now and make a golf swing, it'll look very, very rusty. And you go, yeah, it's a bit rusty, but you can tell there's a good good player there. And I think the same with him when I heard him singing. I think it's the same. There's a good, there's a good singer there. And I think the main thing is I didn't mention DJs. If you love it, just do it. Just keep going and doing it and just enjoy it because that's the main thing about it. Dance like nobody's watching, sing like nobody's listening. I do anyway. <laughs> Seeing the horse racing sign behind you, did you ever bet on the national yesterday? No, no, no. I'm not a, I'm not a betting man. And that's more down to the um, addictive traits that I have that I can, that would lead me down a, a, a path that I don't wish to go down. So I stay away from that. Uh, Craig said your sing was amazing on your vlog, Darren. Good as Shelley. There you go. We're nearly at five and a half thousand subs now. This thing is really growing. Bring on the 10K soon. Yeah, yes, Ian. But I will tell you something else. If you notice at the moment, if I put a little comment in there and I go, hi, what you'll see is I'm actually on the Just Rick. Now the Just Rick channel is actually four away from 4,000. So I'm wondering today, do you think, if you are prepared to watch it, do you think that I might get my, uh, my 4,000? I've just clicked, it says, hooray. It's your channel's birthday on the Just Rick. You've come so far. Just imagine where you and your community will be next year. Keep doing, uh, keep doing you. So it's the channel's birthday as well on the Just Rick channel. It'd be nice to get four thousand on the channel's birthday. Uh, so if you're not subscribed to just subscribe to Just Rick, go and give it a look. Uh, Going to try the Sun In Pie next month, DJ. Based on your recommendation, Neil, you've got to do it. You've got to do it. The pies are really, really good over there. Really, really good. Rick, the cash and carrying there is so cheap. Where in Gear? In Gear de Azora. I've went past it. I think. See the vlog in five days because you've had dial up. Vinny, do you know what it is? I may as well just do a brass rub. It'd be quicker just to do a brass rub of the vlog. It really is, it's that slow. Uh, Alcalo is so beautiful. It is magic. I know that's nice. We went down to uh, uh, play San Juan on Tuesday with we had still a friend over Lorraine, so we went down to play San Juan. And I've been there many a time, but you just when you sit there and appreciate how pretty it is, it's absolutely stunning. It really is. Uh, I know you're out of your six, but you can't, can't you get any better Wi-Fi? Not at the moment, Craig, unless, unless I go Starlink, I think. Uh, there's nothing that can reach us. That's the issue with it. We're, we're on a satellite, you see. Uh, hey, Karen, got a little video to send to you from last night. Brilliant. Afternoon from Emma, Andrew, and new puppy. Got a new puppy named Diamond. Oh, bless, man. What type of dog is it, Emma? I'm sat looking at a cat on a chair, fast asleep. I'm sat in the corner. For those who know Hoppies, I'm actually sat in the corner of Hoppies. So I'm facing the, all the chairs stacked up. Anne's on there. Hi, Anne. I missed you out saying hello. Hope you're having, you having a nice time. Uh, nice afternoon, Anne. Hope it's good. I can let this relax now because uh, it's just football cheering in the background. It's not really a lot there. Uh, let's have a look. 
Neil Garvey self catering at Los Primeras. Michelle, don't need uh, all inclusive or half board on my own this time, just need a base. Nice one, Neil. Um, there's a few places, a few nice places. If you go and check out our vlogs, there's a few food places around the area that you might like to go and try. There's enough places around there, like Holistic Healing with Ma. Hi, Ma, how are you? Uh, hi, Karen. I see we got your reffing song on the show last night. She ended on the reffing song, I believe, from what I heard. Is that right? Uh, let's have a look. I saw you last Sunday in the Galway, but recognised the dog first. Yeah, I was yeah, I was up there. That's right, Elaine. That's right. Hi, how are you doing? Uh, great show last night, says Carol. Were you there, Carol? Did you enjoy it? Or did you just get it on the live? Uh, I'm glad I didn't put a bet on his Webby's fancy loss, lol. <laughs> sure we could bribe four drunks. <laughs> Reffing songs everywhere, it's true. Trisha, you were, oh, you won on the Grand National, did you? Uh, Jackie says, I agree with all you said about DJ. Yeah, DJ's put, literally, he's, he's, he's got out of his comfort zone. And he's gone into doing something he loves. He used to be a professional singer. And he's, uh, he's gone back into the studio and done a song. And uh, he wound me up saying, oh, I've done a song for you. And it's Sweet Caroline, which is just, you know what I talk about all the time. But it's, um, it's sung in a different way. I actually listened to it all the way through, which I thought, and I complimented on it at the end, really. That's for sure. Go and take a look if you've not seen it. Cash and carry next to the big hotel at the seafront. Get anything from there. I was getting my beers and crisps. Are you talking about Alcala magic? Because I'm up in gear. I'm up, I'm up the hill. Oh, you got a little staffy. Nice, 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 nice. Pauline's on, afternoon Rick, everyone, afternoon dry weather at the moment in Edinburgh, that's good. Um, Frankie Mack is singing at the assembly rooms in Edinburgh and I think he's only got about 12 seats available left now, he's doing really, really well. If I can find him on here, uh, May the 4th, that's it, because it's like, I remember Star Wars, May the 4th be with you. And he's doing, uh, he's doing all right. 87 tickets left for the assembly rooms, that's 650 tickets he's got to sell. He's got 87 left. Can we just make this a sellout so I can stop with these posts, he says. That's, I think that's brilliant. He doesn't watch Frankie, he's too busy, but because uh, he is, he, he's, I think that kid's going places, he's very successful. I think he's going places. And if you're up in that area, I think a couple of you might be going to see that, which would be nice as well. Uh, let's have a look. Afternoon, afternoon everyone, dry weather at the moment, got that one. Brilliant to see Shelley sing live last night at the Circus Tavern, a 300 mile round trip, and we're also glad we went. You actually went, Steely, 300 mile round trip. That is amazing. That's fantastic. It's so nice of you to go and support. That means a lot to them, to be honest with you. To all of them, it means a heck of a lot. That's, uh, that's good. Uh, well done, Stevie. Thank you so much. We saw it on the live, says Carol. Yeah, thanks to Elaine. That's right. Yeah, Elaine, uh, next time you're over pet, we'll buy you a drink for that. If you get anything for your horse coming eighth, ask me for a friend. Didn't watch it. You know what it is? I didn't even watch it. Doesn't even do it for me in the slightest. Um, always when I was a kid, staying at my nan's house of a Saturday morning, I used to watch the wrestling and the moment that horse racing came on, I was done, I was away, out of it completely. Good afternoon Rick, hope you're both well, looking forward to meeting on the 2nd of May. Come and say hi Anthony, you'll find us, you know where we are. Uh, you're going to meet up with Frankie Mack before he departs until whenever he's rocking Scotland next month. I think he's already over there Craigie, I think he's already over there. He's like backwards and forwards at the moment because he's rehearsing over there. So. Um, He's a, he's a busy lad at the moment, really, really busy. His video was, um, the vlog that we did, the interview was very, really interesting actually. I really enjoyed uh, spending time with him and seeing how he was getting on. I'm one away from 4,000 on the Just Rich channel because I mentioned that who's going to be my 4,000? If it's you, stick it in the chat that you just subscribed to Just Rich and we'll give you a high five. Can you recommend any restaurants near Clayman Olivina Apart Hotel? I'd need to know where that Elevina Apart Hotel is, Rob, for that. Um, is it Los Chris or Las Americas? That's the best way to start. Uh, Sarah, how big was your journey? How far were you? You were, uh, what was your round trip? I'm not sure how, to, uh, how far away you are. My geography, anything south of Manchester, you may as well be France, you know that. Nicola Nick was on, hi Rick, where can I find the live from last night, please? Go on Tenerife Friends, Nicola, Tenerife Friends. And uh, one of the uh, one of the members on Tenerife Friends did a live on there, Elaine, I think it is, and she did uh, Laney, and I think she did about 52 minutes, so she did quite a long one, so have a look. So apparently the policy's one up. Uh, Trisha is going to go and see Frankie on the 4th in Edinburgh. If you get to see him, tell him I say hi, Trisha. Uh, well done, Trisha, you can treat me for afternoon tea, says uh, Pauline, fantastic. Reese Johnson has subscribed. Are you the, my 4,000 subscriber, Reese? Let's have a look. Rick Studio. No, you're not, Reese. You're not. You're 3999 still. <laughs> uh, opposite the vault bar. Right. I know exactly what you mean. You've actually got 
about three decent restaurants around that area as you are straight away. You've got the Mongolian opposite, you've got the Italian next to you, and then a bit further up the street, you've got the Victoria. Further up, you've got Chicago's, which is good eating. And further up from that, you've got the Olive Garden, which is stupendous. And then it's a fantastic steakhouse up there called De Bayo. You've got about six restaurants going up the hill, not going down the hill. Have a fantastic time. Thanks, Joanne, for helping out. That, uh, hope that helps for you. So uh, there's some decent stuff up there at the moment. That's becoming the place to be. Lost Chris on the roundabout at the Afghan restaurant. Yeah. Mike Levy Jr. not heard anything for Age or Lives or maybe I, I'm, I'm, I'll get notifications. He's not really YouTube. He's, he's very much Facebook organised, coordinated, and he is um, very much family orientated as well. So he does it. He doesn't. The, the secret of the secret of YouTube is consistency. But when you when you bring up four kids as well, consistency gets a little bit. Uh, you know, priorities. You have to take the other prices as well. So there you go. Uh, Pauline says, "How's the new place getting on? It's doing all right. It's doing okay. It's an absolute bomb site at the moment. Had the builders. The owner's got the builders in, and the builders are." Uh, two Italian blokes and they are in their 60s and it's uh, Antonio and Roberto and we get by they speak their Spanish I speak my Spanish we get by they're lovely blokes lovely blokes um, they've built a wall outside the, the garden which is about as straight as Julian Clary uh, when you look at it it's ridiculous uh, if you heard that line on Thursday by the way that was my line and she stole it <laughs> um, and they're doing bits and bobs and they, they came into the house yesterday because they're doing up the chalets as well at the end. So there's a lot going on up the house, and uh, they came into um, they came into the house yesterday to put the, the new sink unit in, and it was all a question. Oh, we don't have these bits, and the off the shots come out. Oh, this happened, and it, they're in there from like eight o'clock in the morning till half one, and they're just walking through the house. The house is just an absolute tip. So it's it's right that Shelley's not there really. So I'll just I'll just tidy it all up when I'm uh, when I get back. So I'm going to spend a couple of hours tidying the back bedroom as well because the back bedroom's become the dumping ground until we get everything sorted. And we've got loads of cupboard space now, but it's just a question of where you put everything. So it's, I'm going to start work after this. I'm going to go and start working on that straight away, anyway. So uh, let's have a look. But it's doing all right. I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. Michelle T. She was there. Uh, no, uh, was it Michelle T? No, who went there? I can't remember. Uh, Janie M was there as well. I'm on the Bournemouth flight too. Much more convenient than Gatwick. Nice one. Sarah did a 180 mile round trip. My God, thank you so much, guys. Thank you so so much. It's uh, a big commitment for that, and I really appreciate it. Check Debbie's just subscribed. Let's have a quick look and see what's going on. See if we get there. Into that. Into there. 4,001. Boom. Thank you so, so much, everybody. Thank you so, so much. Really appreciate it. It's um, The thing about that channel that I like is... Uh, not. I, I actually watched a very, very interesting YouTube video yesterday from uh, a guy called... Uh, it, it doesn't make sense. Coffeezilla. He's got another channel called Voidzilla. And he was talking about the 10 years he's learned on YouTube. And one of the things he's don't, he says, even though it's nice to, chat, uh, to chase the numbers, don't chase the numbers. He says, because when you chase the numbers, he said, me chasing a thousand gave me the exact same feeling as when I chased it, when I hit a million. I saw that I was there live, he said, and I saw the number go over onto the million. And I was like, right, what now? Because he thought that hitting a million was the thing for him. And he said, it's all about content. Just make content, make good content, people will come. Make good content, people will come. That's it. But thank you so much for everybody who does subscribe. 277 people on today. Thank you to all the backgrounders that are on there as well. Really appreciate it. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, Claimers Hotel we stay in. Great hotel. Night. Oh, Carl's on. Hi, Carl. Um, people said it's nice around there, yeah. We met Lainey and Janie M. Janie M last night. So lovely to meet them. It's nice, Sarah. It's, isn't it? it's good. It's getting a good, it's good community going, which is good. Uh, Rob says, thanks, guys. We're going to the Olive Garden for sure. Watched you vlogging it the other day. I tell you, that strip now, the Olive Garden, uh, the Bayo, Chicago's, the attic around the corner for uh, drinks, the restaurant below the attic, everyone says it's supposed to be very, very good as well. You've got a lot going on over there, which is really good. Uh, DJ, you're 4K, buddy. Congrats. Thank you very much, DJ. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's good. It was sat on 3995 for about a week and a half, two weeks, because I've not really done much with it. I took a two week uh, hiatus because I was moving house, which is fine. But 4K, I'll take 4K all day long. Thank you very much. I subscribed 100 pounds. Euros should be in the post. I posted it yesterday, Magic. Do you not see it? <laughs> By Carrier Pigeon. Congratulations on reaching 4K subscribers on to 5K now. Thank you so much, Alan. Appreciate that. Really appreciate it. Uh, I think it was 4K. Are you, Debbie, I'll give it you. You can have it, Pet. You can have it. Uh, cheers, Eddie. Uh, Rebecca's on. Good afternoon. Uh, John, afternoon, Rick. Hope you're both okay. Sat on the Camison Beach watching you. John and Alison. Oh, that is gorgeous, isn't it? El Camison. Which one's El Camison? 
That's uh, yes, that's one through the tunnel on Lost Chris, the one with the, the broken fountain. That's it. Thank you very much. Uh, have a great holiday, John. Well done on the singing performance, DJ. It was top class. It was. You certainly haven't lost that fa fabulous voice. No, I think it's I think it's fantastic. I think it's good. Uh, there's a lady to your left. Notice she was on the live, so she moved forward. Yeah, it's, uh, I was here first. I saw that. <laughs> um, the Olive Garden is a real good place. We usually go there straight from the airport. Do you know what it is? Sally, um, she's lovely. The one who owns it, she's absolutely lovely. So um, when you go up there, just tell her you say hello. Rick and Shelley say hello always. We go in there a lot. Uh, Rick will buy everyone a drink now and 4,001 straws. All in one, just one jug of sangria, Ian. That's what it'll be. On jug of sangria. Davina Marsh, hi Rick, happy Sunday, good luck with the move. Thank you Davina, we are in, but the videos, of the vlogs are showing that we're not there yet. So uh, tonight, seven o'clock, we're putting another vlog out, the three, um, three days to go vlog um, tonight. And that's a big one by the way, it's 28 minutes long. It's the first time I've really done a long content for a while on uh, the Rick and Shelley channel. So hopefully you'll stick with it and hopefully you'll enjoy it and hopefully the content's there for you. There was a lot of filming going on that one. Uh, how's the house going? It's doing all right, we're doing all right. It feels for me, it's uh, once again I was chatting with DJ today once again today I had to go out and repair the driveway uh, the driveway is just because the builders coming in and out if I'd repaired the driveway once and it was just for me and Shelley I think we'd be all right because we know how to drive the driveway but when you've got people coming in and out who don't know how to drive it and they're just driving through driving creating bigger potholes it's then a question I've got to go out I was there for an hour today with a wheelbarrow and a spade uh, trust me there's, it's, there's enough volcanic rock everywhere to actually fill them all in but they genuinely do need filling in because um, a 15 years car trade, you don't want to bottom the car out on something like that because if you do the sump, you're absolutely knackered. My car isn't designed for that sort of off-road and stuff, so it's, uh, it's, it, it needs to be done. And I don't mind, uh, this week we took the, the landlord says we're going to get the uh, cement out on the driveway, so the worst parts are going to get cemented over, which works, which works for me, to be honest with you. It's, it's, the road's about a kilometre long, so you, you can't expect him to cement a kilometre long road but um, the worst parts do need looking at. But in the meantime, I could wait for that and go, yeah, well, I told you my car would bottom out, or I could actually do something about it and decide to do something about it. So that's what I've been doing at the moment. Uh, great content, we appreciate all the work. Thanks, Siobhan, thank you so much. And it's just absolutely jumped massively. So let's see where we're at. Uh, there. Ba -ba -ba. We can show it to 10K stuff, please, Jam. It's free, thank you so much, Craig. Uh, outside the Cleopatra is old Camazon. Oh, that one. Yeah, so it's further along. It's further along. That's a nice beach. Is that one with the grass? Yeah, it's nice. That's a nice beach. We don't tend to go there because we can't. We can't tend to get parked. Uh, that's the reason why. I walk past it a lot because I, I do a lot of walking, but I don't actually a day at the beach. I've not been down the beach for ages to be honest with you. It's just something that happens. You just don't get there. Uh, let's have a look. Very kind, Anne. Thank you. It's all in the Fanta Lemon Shandies. Shut up, beach. <laughs> Maybe I should start drinking Spant Lemon Shandies, DJ. I just got to subscribe to this channel. Enjoy watching it. How far do to your new home to where you are at the moment? We are about 20 minutes uh, out of town. We are, if you go from the airport to uh, Las Americas, we're at the moment in Torviscus. If you go that way on the motorway and then go another 20 minutes past, so past the Dehi, you will then uh, hit a town called Guia de Azora, which is actually the guide of Azora. The girl's called Azora and there's a guide. That's what it came down to. I saw that uh, yesterday and uh, that's it so uh, yeah and it's lovely but thank you very much uh, Kazza appreciate the subs uh, subscription um, just go and take a look over the stuff that you see We've got, there's pretty much a lot of stuff of everything really it's not just lives we do a bit of vlogs Shelly sings on a Thursday so if you go to the, you go to the channel page hopefully I'll try and set it out with structured so people can navigate their way around it straightforward and you might find stuff that you might like Carl's got no granddaughter this weekend I bet you're missing her Carl I bet you're missing her Shelly will be having uh, Ava in her arms this evening uh, DJ's got a fabulous voice, he has. Stevie Still Wonders, still one of the best names on uh, the internet. Stevie Still Wonders, hi Rick. Can I get a shout out to Bernie Bear, please? Bernie Bear, good afternoon. How are you doing? Hope you're doing okay. No idea what that means. Um, Rob Healy says, DJ, when are you next in Tenerife? Uh, Rick, the lady on your left, no, she's on your live, so she moved forward. She did, yes, she did. She's, uh, it's fine, it's fine. I've, I've, tried, I've come into a corner and sat myself out of the way, and that's all it was. So the thing is, when it's quiet and somebody sits down, everyone notices. When it's busy and we're live, nobody notices because it's just all the noise. So that's all it comes down to. Hence the reason I got the mic up as well. Um, afternoon, Rick and Shelley from Fulham, West London. Hi, Zami. How are you doing? How's Fulham doing? What's the weather like in Fulham? 
Shelley's around there somewhere. But no, she, is she east? She's east London. Uh, parking the Cleopatra use my space. Alan Fraser's got his own space at the Cleopatra. Have you seen any of the Masters Rick? This is interesting actually. For the first year ever, no. However, I have been going on YouTube and watching the roundups the following day. So I saw Bryce and the Shambo's fantastic start. I see he's gone a little bit further back. Scott uh, Shepherd's still there and Tiger was shot 82, but I've not seen that today because I've been busy today. But uh, it's Fat Masters Sunday today, final back nine of the Masters. And what I'm looking I'm working tonight, which is fine, but they've got 15, well, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six TVs. It'll be on one of the TVs, so I'll be watching it out the corner of my eye, I think. You should do a walk along the new path in front of GD Zora, but it'll be well watched. Magic, I don't know where you, I don't know where you're thinking. You might be getting yourself a little bit confused because Gear Azora, uh, Azora isn't a, along the front, along the sea front. Gear is up in the uh, the hills. I think you're thinking Alcalan and Place San Juan. There's a walkway over there. See you guys. See you later. There's a there's a walkway over there, and I think that might be where you mean. If you if you're thinking seafront, we are um, quite a way up actually. Uh, but seafront, if I look down, I can see Place San Juan and see Alcala. So I think you're around that area maybe. Might be wrong. Uh, Kevin Scotsman, an uncle, he had his niece on his airport in Tenerife Vlog Polly. Okay. Hi Rick, join late. Hello to everyone. Hi Mr. B, how are you? Uh, hi Michael, how are you doing? Uh, know the big hotel? I need to go and look, Magic. I'll have to go and have a look. Uh, I've got a great tan. I, I, work, I walk a lot. I'm outside with the dog walking and uh, I'm outside now in the grounds. So when I'm working in the grounds, I've got a pair of shorts on, just like I'm just doing, putting the washing out normally. Um, Kathy says, good afternoon Rick from sunny Edinburgh, temperature 8 degrees, not quite sunbathing yet, enjoying watching the house renovations. For you, 8 degrees in Edinburgh, that's like a, that's a heat wave, that's a heat wave, or barbecue weather at least. I'm glad you're enjoying the house renovation ones. I thought, I, I thought when we started, I thought there might be something in this, and hence the reason why I did it. And a lot of people jumped on board. I've had people text me today asking me when the next one's going out. They're like, they just start, they're like, when's the next one going out? Is it going out tonight? Please tell me it's going out tonight. So I had to come down here purposely. To, um, to get get it uploaded so I can get it out tonight. And if you go onto the channel, you'll see it premieres tonight at seven o'clock. We'll do another premiere with a, with the a, uh, with a chat on. Give yourself some time, have a cup of tea with it though, because it's 28 minutes long, this one. I'm just giving you the warning. Uh, Carl says, we do miss the granddaughter. Loads, hopefully late this year, we'll be moving to Worcester from Birmingham to be close to her. Oh, fantastic, Carl. That'd be great. I remember you telling me about that. Can I jump to the screen? You can order me a pint. We're gonna have a puff of all, pardon me. You could say that, but they wouldn't understand the word you're saying. They're English. Uh, except, sorry, surely I'm Scottish. Uh, but uh, yeah, Craig, it's uh, it's definitely a pint weather today. It really is. But I'm on the line of sodas. Janie M's on. Hi, Janie M. How are you doing? Oh, Shelley's on. <laughs> Rough ass. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Uh, Shelly's on. Everybody just have a quick chat with Shelly in the chat, find out. Let's have a... Shelly, how are you feeling, pet? How are you doing? I'm just going to grab myself another drink. See if she can... Uh... I'll just see if I can get Shirley Ann's attention. Give me two seconds and I'll get another one of them. I know I'll do it. Shirley Ann, can I have one more? Oh, Shelly's on. Oh, how are you, Shelly? How's it going, Shelly? Get me an ambulance. <laughs> how's the, um, how's all the back door um, behind the stage footage looking, Shelley? How's that looking? Is it looking half decent? Um, you've told me some stories, which uh, it sounds like the Soul Brothers were having a great time before they even got on stage, had a great time. Uh, Shelley says, thank you to all the people that came last night, yeah. Um, Shelley's had, had no time to miss me, Pauline. She's been working. She's, and then she gets to go and see her granddaughter this evening, which is going to be fantastic. Uh, you were fantastic last week, Shelley, says Carol. Everyone's saying hi to Shelley. Craig's got you in an ambulance. She wants to tell us how you really are. It must have been that last drink that was a bit dodgier than Shelley. Shelley, yeah, thank you so much, my love. You're very welcome. Thank you. Charles. 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 Um, Jackie Stewart, right? Here's something for you, for people that are not that... Um, technically minded. Jackie Stewart, if you've got gone to Facebook and you in the search bar type in Tenerife Friends, that'll come up, click on it, and then if you scroll through the posts, like scroll down the page, it'll still be there and you'll get to see it. So if you want to watch it, just click on that. I think somebody called Laney uh, posted it and it's about 50 odd minutes long I think. So you get to see quite a lot of it Jackie. So if you fancy doing that that's something for you okay. Um, Shelly said definitely last night. Well, Shelly called me last night, didn't you, Shelly? And Shelly doesn't remember calling me last night because I finished work 
at um, what time did I finish last night? I finished at 12 last night. Ran over a little bit late. I got home about quarter to one and um, we're just chatting on the text. Next thing you know, Shelley calls me. And as I'm talking to Shelley, I'm going, <laughs> wow, wow. If there was a if there was a face gurning competition on the night at the Circus Tavern, I think Shelley might have won that one hands down. That's all I'm saying about it. Uh, to the point where this morning, Shelley didn't remember calling and didn't remember the conversation, but there we go. Uh, hi Rick, please say hello to Weary Mum and Kids. Pete is coming over in 51 days, see you soon. Hi Weary Mum and Kids, how are you doing? Won't be long, 51 days will be here before you know it. Be here before you know it. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, hi Shelley and Rick, can you say hi to my husband Pete, who's headed over in 51 days from Weary Mum? And remind him to send some of that lovely weather our way. Are you not going, weary bum? So it's just Pete on his way. So there you go. It's always that last drink, says Sandra. It is. That's why I always take my last drink in the house. Uh, how the, yeah, get on it. You must be in the pub now, Shelley, here. Yeah? You're in the pub having Sunday lunch. You want it? What are you drinking? What, what was that one that they used to drink? The, the, the tomato, tomato juice one. The Bloody Marys. That's what they used to drink, didn't they? To keep them on it. To keep it, get over it. Good last, Shelley. Straight back on it. Are you seriously back on it, Shelley? But I'm going to the pub shortly, yeah, that's it, yeah. Uh, how's your hair, Shelley? <laughs> Afternoon, Alan Fraser. Uh, going to start the 12-hour shift tomorrow. Help, said Alan's homemade blogs. Alan, can you just clarify for me? Are you working at True, or are you um, work part of the scaffolding company that does that? What is it you actually do? Because the, um, the British Open's there this year, isn't it? I'm just wondering how much involved you are. And just uh, just being out of interest more than anything else. Uh, hell no, says Shelley. No, it's true. We've got 282 people on. Shelley, just let you know, Just Rick's channel just hit 4,000. We just got to the 4,000. Um, a couple of people just uh, very kindly decided to have a go and subscribe to the Just Rick ch uh, channel. We're now at 4,002, which is all right, isn't it? It's not bad. Shelley says, you're on your phone. Yes, I'm on my phone. Uh, I came into town. I forgot my stand, but luckily your iPad stand was in the car, so I could use your iPad stand. And I uh, forgot my glasses, hence the reason why I've got Shirley Ann glasses on, reading glasses. So there you go. Uh, yeah, I'll call you, in, I'll call you in a bit. Uh, yes, Rick, logistics manager for the Open. Oh, fantastic. That's amazing. That's going to be, uh, that's stunning, Armour. Congratulations, mate. That's, uh, that's a big job for you. I think you'll love that. Uh, congratulations, Pets, Shirley. Thank you so much. Uh, and the same afternoon to Shelley. Janie M says it was lovely to Sarah, it was lovely to meet you both too, meeting Sarah and Eddie. A lot of people got together on that. Rick, watch Webby Sports Roundup, we'll see Alan and what he does. Yeah, I will do, Tricia, I will. It's just getting the time to do it, you see. I'm not really, I just say, I'm not really sports orientated. I'm, I'm, I mean, it's all horse racing and like Coventry football or whatever it is. I, it's not really my cup of tea, so that's the reason why I don't watch it. But something like that sounds, um, sounds really of interest, really. Five weeks in, Rick starts uh, to ramp up this week. Yeah, I bet it does. I bet it does. I played British Open qualifiers. I played three British Open qualifiers. Did no good, no good whatsoever. A friend of mine got there to the pre-qual, but that was it really. Uh, my, a couple of my bosses actually played the British Open. Dennis Dernian shot 28 at Birkdale, I think, on the back nine at the British Open, which was a good score. You got those days. Shelley's got to go. Pub first, then train, then playing. Off to see our granddaughter. Give her a hug from me, Pat. Give her a hug from me. Everyone say enjoy to Shelley. That's good. Fantastic. So 272 people on a Sunday, thank you so much for joining us guys, uh, really appreciate it. Uh, hi Rick, where is Dominique from Hoppy's working now, she's a lovely girl, shame she's left. Yeah, um, due to private circumstances with a private life, it was needed for her to actually spend more time with the kids. So she has then um, pulled away from the bar and uh, she's now doing, um, she, I think she's, working, she's not working in a bar but she's doing other work now. And uh, she, she never watches this but I would wish her all the best anyway, she was, uh, she, she's lovely. We still chat every so often, and uh, Shelley still sends a couple of messages. So, uh, yeah, we just wish her all the best. She was great. But, it moved, you know, Tenerife moves. That's the thing about Tenerife. It definitely, definitely moves. I'm supposed to be five nights a week at GG's, and I, I think I've done four nights in the last two last month and a half. It just Tenerife moves. Um, last night I was working I was working at Castro Moor last night, again, back in at Castro Moor. I was a, uh, I was a poker croupier in Castro Moor, because they, um, they had a party of 14 over. And they fancied a bit of poker, and uh, they were looking for a croupier who, who somebody understands the game. And it's like, yeah, I understand it. So they asked me to do it. So it's just it, it just moves around really, and that, that's what it is. You just you just go, go with it. Uh, but Dominique's fine. Uh, Michael McGinnis is on. What is the Irish AR behind you? Is that letter B? Uh, 
is the letter P expensive to buy? The Irish AR. Where am I, is, it, is that what it says? I've just cut it off, is it? Oh, because my screen's not fully on there. Oh, I see what you mean. Because I'm on the comments section, I've got it rolled up. I, might, I can only see from here, so I didn't realise what you meant there. Uh, that's actually Maguire's. That's uh, the owner of the beer garden owns that place as well, um, Nigel. And uh, that's where Seb from TikTok works. You've got Seb's funny. Seb is very, very funny on TikTok. If you go to TikTok, look for Maguire's bar and you'll find Seb. And he's, uh, some of the stuff he does, very, very funny. Izzy says, hi Rick, can you give a shout out to Izzy Tippett, weary mum and Pete's daughter, please say hi. Got a whole family of shout outs today, guys. How are you? Uh, Rebecca got the first and the third on the Grand National. How much did you win? How much did you win? This is how, they, this is how rich these people were at Castro Moor. Somebody had 500 quid on the winner. I don't know what the odds are. I don't know how much they brought in. 500 quid on the nose on the winner. It's like, wow. Uh, hope you both there at the start of October. would love to meet you both. Uh, Davina, I've got no plans to leave, so I'm still here. Emma's over in 19 days to celebrate my mum's 75th. Yes, I remember that. Andy's not coming, is he? Andy will be at home with the puppy. Can't wait. Already booked in at Hoppies on the 9th. Fantastic. Absolutely brilliant, Emma. I look forward to seeing you. Uh, let's have a look. Give Ava a hug from us, please. Dead right. The margin between success and failure in golf are very, very small. It's, it's ridiculous, Alan. It's absolutely ridiculous. The, the most difficult distance in golf is this distance between your ears, mate. Honestly, it's it's crazy. Uh, the pressure. I I could hit. A, I mean, I hit the ball very, very well, and then put me in a pressure situation like that, and it was like that. just nowhere near. That's where they fly, and that's where you know other people just struggle. Uh, Alan took the bookies for 179 quid yesterday, and I hardly ever bet. Nice one, Alan. Well done. The B is missing. Yeah, Alan is still working for Glasgow University as well. Seven to one, about three and a half grand. Yeah, that's that sounded about right, actually. Yeah, that sounded about right. Oh my god, Alan. <laughs> How these, have you got a book in your back pocket, Alan, with all these uh, dodgy jokes? Is that what it is? Is that what it is? That book of dodgy jokes with you? Very, very funny. We're, um, for those who just joined us, good afternoon. Welcome down. We are at Sunday and we are in Hoppies. We're at Hoppies today, basically because the Wi Fi at my house is garbage. And I thought I need some to upload uh, for tonight's um, house renovation vlog. So I thought I'd come and down and do it here, do like kill two birds with one stone. After this, I'm going to go back and get some dog food because I can't take the dog into the shop. Uh, so I'm killing three birds with one stone today. Uh, let's have a look. How, yeah, how much did you win Trish on the National? Was it a big bet, a small bet? Uh, Izzy says, thanks for my shout out. So happy I'm subscribing to your channel. Is that what it takes, Izzy? Is that what it takes? You're more than welcome, pet. You're more than welcome. Uh, so Gary, I've always worked, only worked part time since 2022. Okay. You, you, Alan, are you a decent golfer? Are you a, are you a handicap? Are you just a golf lover? Are you? I I got a, a I got a great story. I'm just trying to I can't even remember the guy's name. Do you know when you, I did a vlog about um, you're only like five people away or seven people away from somebody? It was on the Just Rick channel, and it was um, see if I can find it. Hold on. Uh, otherwise, I'm talking rubbish and it's just not going to work. So. Uh, oh, I didn't want to do that. If you only click something, it's like, no, don't do that. You want to click videos. There was a, d -d 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 the six degrees of separation. I did a vlog on UK, you, on the, the District channel. The six degrees of separation. I found out yesterday, I'm sat in a bar, and the six degrees of separation meant that you're only ever six people away from anybody in the world. So, for instance, I know Shelley. Shelley's friend knows Pia. Pia has a restaurant who Hillary Clinton came in. Hillary Clinton is married to Bill Clinton, so therefore we are that far away from Bill, I'm that far away from Bill Clinton. I'm sat there yesterday in a bar, and um, my mate uh, on the golf course, Lucy Collin, he says to me, he's very, very good friends with a guy in, um, a Scottish guy who went over to America, who's best mates with Butch Harmon. And to the point where they, they did a commentary together on golf years ago, uh, in American American TV, and they became really good friends. So much so that actually he sometimes uses Butch Harmon's private jet. So when I thought about that, I went, hang on a minute then, it's me to Colin, Colin to this guy, this guy to Butch Harmon, Butch Harmon to Tiger Woods. I'm far away from Tiger Woods. It's bizarre, isn't it? It's bizarre how it works. Rick played off four, but hard to play now due to having Carpal Tunnel in my right hand. Yeah, I can imagine. Uh, still decent, decent there, Alan, decent. I got down to, uh, I got down to scratch when I was 16 and then uh, just realised how good everybody else was and even though you think you're good, it's just an amazing, great game, tough game, great game. 
And says, don't bet on any race apart from the Grand National. It's tradition. Got first and fourth. Won about 100 quid. Get in, Anne. Well done, Pat. Uh, Rick, are you going to do the... Sorry, Trisha, are you going to go do the Scottish uh, Grand National? Uh, well done. Uh, yeah. Um, so, look, Paulie put five on the table to win and won five. I owe myself 35 quid. <laughs> Uh, let's have a look. Darren Johnson, I thought I could play golf until I came to Tenerife. Oh, mate, honestly. It's it's one of the most frustrating games in the world. And the worst thing is, you can only blame yourself. You can't blame anybody else. You can't sit and go, oh, I had a bad game because number seven, you know, like football or so-and-so, you, you lost because it's, it's, you can't hide. You cannot hide. Uh, Alan Fraser back with his joke book again. Uh, my daughter was for to uh, retire from Cardone University. Ray Duffy, have got a great grandson, Max. We all bet horse money yesterday. Back on catch up later, Rick. Nice one, Ray. All the best, mate. If you drink, don't drive and don't even put. Not true. I have played my best golf after four or five pints. I play fearlessly. Do you know what it is? What I see more and more of now from the years ago is when I played golf del Sur, is the, uh, the drinks buggy goes around and makes a fortune. It's a very, very social game on there over here at the moment. It's doing really, really well. So, uh, yeah, it works for everybody else. It's, it's a different one for everybody, isn't it? For me, I. To play again, to play in a level, I will never hit a level that I got to ever again. And then to play golf now, not knowing I'm not going to hit that standard is so frustrating. I'm actually supposed to be finishing here at three o'clock and I'm supposed to be going to a Decky driving range now to go and see um, Sam Philip Cox and to go and give him a lesson. But I've had to cancel this morning because I've got too much on and I didn't want the dog to be too far away. So I've got so much on, so I just went, no, I can't do it. So, um, I'm going to give it a miss today, and then instead I'm going to go to the supermarket instead and buy dog food. But hey ho, each their own. Uh, let's have a look. Darren John, uh, lots of people think they can play golf and do it every week. Very true. Uh, it's true, isn't it? It's true. But it's uh, it takes up a lot of time as well, you know. It's, uh, I'm lucky I did it as a career, because I think as a hobby, away from family, I think it's a long, long time. And it's like, you know, it's only getting longer these days. It's like a full day, isn't it? You know, almost. Especially over here. Uh, yes, Alan, anyone can use the range at Adeki, and I'll tell you, Adeki is the most prettiest range of all of them. It's beautiful. So anybody can get on, uh, and it's a uh, euro bucket, bucket of balls for a euro or something like 50. I don't know how many balls they are. Three euros gets you there. Cheapest chips, and the backdrop's just stunning. I, I prefer that to any of them, uh, to be honest with you, Alan. Um, it's because it's also separate from the golf club, so you're not really getting interfered by, you know, if you turn up and all the people are going off hitting balls warming up before they go and play it's just people just want to hit some balls and it's good fun so yes yes worth a visit uh my father's cousin married an american gi and their child went to school with alice cooper there you go you see look at that Karen. uh your father's cousin so your dad's one your cousin his cousin's two married a gi that's three and they went to school with alice cooper there you go oh four five you're five away from alice cooper does Rollo enjoy being in the house on his own do you know it was pauline I really, at first, we only started doing it for an hour and then for two hours. We never tend to leave the dog more than uh, four hours. Um, I don't like to. I, it, like tonight, it might be a little bit longer because Shelly's not here. But um, it's, I always make sure that he's, this is the reason why he's like, he properly walked this morning. We went out and did a vlog and did a walk on there. And then I've been done the driveway for an hour and he was with me while I was doing the driveway because he's, because he's no roads, he can be loose and he's just like running around. So he's absolutely shattered now. And that, I don't feel bad then leaving him that little bit longer. Um, but he, he's also got all the smells of the, our house anyway because it's, it's like our couch, our bed, our tables so he's got the smells around as well so I think he does alright to be honest with you he, he knows the routine now you go outside, he goes on a quick wee and then uh, I actually put the radio on and he just goes and chills because you know, the moment I put the radio on he knows that that's, uh, it's time for him just to go and have a lie down so he does, so there you go um, ba -ba -ba. I found my Henrik, it's far better in warmer weather and he's torture good in the club in the cold I can imagine, yeah are you, are you, do you, are you do a um, an operation on it um, I've, I've been very lucky I've been very lucky but you know I, I know people and it's sometimes it just it just gets in the way doesn't it it just gets in the way um, I know a lot of people have had operations and it's sorted that's all um, John says will you wish Alison a happy birthday for today Rick it will make her day Alison happy birthday I hope you're having a fantastic day but it's my channel's birthday today the Just Rick channel apparently it's, it must be two years old today um, I only got really busy last year, but Alison, have a fantastic day, Pat. Enjoy your day. Where did you and Will practice golf? That was a decky driving range. It's beautiful. It really is such a stunning, stunning place. Uh, is it tomorrow you move in? Now, you see, Rebecca, this is the trick, you see. We're actually in. 
we are in we went in about two weeks ago we've been in two weeks now but the vlogs are on catch up that's all it is so um we are at the moment today's vlog is three days until moving because it's on the friday we moved in on the monday so tomorrow we're two weeks tomorrow we've been in so that's the the power of youtube uh Vinny says i want to play golf once the man said what's your handicap i said i've got a slight limp and a lazy eye but that's none of your business so i left <laughs> gary todd says get roller brother sister if you watch the next just rick vlog you'll understand why that's not happening the next just rick vlog is coming out most probably tomorrow or the day after i've already filmed it i need to edit it and um i'm talking about the fact of getting a second dog or not how has bella settled in remarkably fantastic we first expected her, like we kept her in the house for a week and then we let her out and then we followed her around like she had her own chaperone like bodyguards because we were petrified we'd lose her uh now she just comes in and out and she's she's actually become more of a house cat than anything else now so she will go outside but she won't go any further than the terrace unless rollo follows her out and then like chases her out this morning i went for a shower and the doors were open i came out of the shower and i'm like where's where's the cat hang on a minute where's the dog so I walk outside and they're like right around the side of the house because Rolo's just following her away. So I pulled the dog back and then she came back. So she's doing she's doing all right, really. Uh, I forgot just how much hard work having a puppy is. It's been 12 years. And it's like, oh, no. It's having a small child, man. It's just like it's just like having a small child. It's crazy. It's definitely hard work. That's in carpets as well. You've got to be so careful. You've got to be so careful. So it's sunny afternoon. 10 to 3. You've got 10 more minutes. And what are you up to? What are you planning on doing for the rest of the afternoon? What, what you got going on, guys? We've got, to, um, for me, I've told you what I'm doing. I've got to go shopping, go home, get some food, feed the dog, get changed and go to work. And I'm out until about half 12, home about quarter past one. What are you up to today? Have you got anything that lays it out? I'm off tomorrow, though. I'm off tomorrow. I've got my mother coming up and I've got Colin and uh, Carmen coming up uh, to the house tomorrow. They're just going to, Colin and Carmen got themselves a car. They live on Golf Del Sur and they're going to come up and uh, bring my mother up. Uh, so it should be a nice afternoon tomorrow so it should be good uh 80 days until we're over again can't wait nice one jackie be here before you know it but it'll be here before you know it vinnie's like shelly nursing a hangover afternoon nap me thinks just like shelly uh got the pictures to watch amy winehouse it's supposed to be good jackie it's supposed to be good that one I'll tell you what i watched I watched a great film the other night because i don't get a chance to be often on my own and uh, just sit there on my own and i put a film on i watched uh, on netflix king richard and that's the uh, the venus and serena uh, Williams, his father's film, very, very good, and it, it shows you if you, if anybody, you, if anybody's wondering when you see Venus Serena or you see Tiger Woods or people in that dedica how they get to that level of dedication of sport, it sort of normally comes from the parents. You need to watch that film; it's, it's a fascinating film, uh, fascinating film. Rick, I joined the 13th of April 2020. What I joined which channel? The Just Rick channel. So that's the reason why it's uh, the birthday. Didn't really do much with it though, did I? Didn't really do much with it. Uh, gonna bums for a Sunday dinner, an apple pie and a bottle of wine. Apple pie, ooh. Uh, you'd be great doing a TV chat show, says Michael McGuinness. Thank you so much, mate. I can just, people ask me what time I breathe in. Uh, afternoon, Rick Shelley was amazing last night. Thanks to Laney, kindly shared. Yeah, Laney's uh, big up for Laney, I think. Looking forward to the 9th of October. We're back in the 14 days. Anne says, wish it was tomorrow. Oh, man, be here before you know it, Alan. You got the British Open to look forward to, man. You'll be fine. Bye from Maggie. See you, Madge. Good to get to get coochies off our backs. All the best, Ray. Hope, you, hope you're on the mend, mate. I watch fun by myself, but never get to the end. For some reason, you're snoozing. Have a great Sunday, says DJ. Rick, thanks for the chat today. Mate, you're more than welcome. You're a solid, genuine human being. See you soon. Cheers, DJ. I'll, uh, yeah, just remember, the other side's there. The other side's there. Uh, Ripley on Netflix is good. I've, I've seen the film, Talented Mr. Ripley. Is that close? Is it close? Because if it's close, I, don't, I won't, won't normally bother watching it. Uh, Daz and Des will be back over there in four weeks. Can't wait. Nice one. It'll be here before you know it, Daz. Hi, Rich, chilling with the pint in Weatherspoons. Watching this live will be there in July. Hope to see you then. Also, love the Just Rick channel. Thank you so much, Glenn. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Uh, there is another Just Rick coming out, must be tomorrow. That thanks to Alan Fraser for that one. He sent me a message going, "When are you doing it?" So he kicked me up the butt a little bit. Um, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to we're going to call it a day. Oh, Nicky's on. Hi, I was saying hi. Um, we're going to call it a day because I don't want to talk just for the take of talking. It's, it's just a nice Sunday afternoon. I've got to go to the shops. So I've got to get some massive dog food and stuff like that. I just want to say thank you to everybody. Um, thank you to the 4,000 subscribers on the Just Rick channel. Um, we are doing a um, we are doing a premiere tonight at seven o'clock on this channel with the renovation ones, which just seem to be doing great. 
and uh, so I'll, if whoever's in there in the chat I'll see you in the chat on seven o'clock and uh, from myself I just want to say thanks a lot just thanks a lot for all the support just thanks for supporting Shelley last night by the way that's that's a, that's a really good, and the kind words for it just mean a lot as well so with that uh, I'm gonna go and uh, yeah you clocks it Ray you clocks it there you go you see it's even got it's even got a ball magnetic ball marker look at that I didn't have them in my day I'd lose it there you go I'd lose it who's that <laughs> Right, with that, I'm going to say goodbye. I'll tell you what, I'm going to show you what my view is. Hang fire and look at my view, because I finish off. You'll like this. For the last hour, this has been my view. Look at that. Not bothered in the slightest. Sweet, isn't it? Really sweet. Guys, for myself, I'm from Shelley. We'll see you on the next one. I'll see you tonight on the premiere if you're there. And as I said, premiere is 28 minutes long, so I'll have a cup of tea with you, okay? With that in mind, all the best. I'll see you. See you on the next one. Cheers, y'all.